Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin Lecture in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to de-highlight slight backgrounds in Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. So let's say you're preparing, as in my case here, a class, a series of lecture notes. This could be any type of presentation, a sales presentation, uh, anything that you choose. And you may want to display an important message in the middle of the screen as a, as a tip or a reminder, uh, or an important message or uh, something that you want to draw the student's attention to and away from the background. Now you could, of course, put in a blank slide, but one of the nice things that you can do in Excel is you can uh, use um, text boxes to de-highlight the background of your screen. So that's what we're going to learn how to do here. So supposing what you want to do is the following. I want to display a message in the center here, so I've selected the uh, rectangle drawing tool and I'm going to draw a box here in the middle of the screen. And usually by default um, the size in the box, the color of the box doesn't matter for the moment. In my case here it's brown which is dependent on the uh, template that I'm using. Um, and I want to display in this um, an important message. I'm going to display a tip in this about Pareto analysis which is what my lecture notes are all about. So if I right click on this and choose edit text, I can uh, type in my in my tip. Now I have to have that on the clipboard here, so I'm just going to paste that in. And I'm going to increase the size of the text so as you can see it a little bit easier here to um, 28. And you can see in ed mode, edit mode that this is actually um, a little bit confusing. There's uh, partial words down along the left-hand side and the bottom. It's partially covering graphics at the back, and it doesn't look as nice as it might be. So let's remove that and learn how to de-highlight the background before we put the tip message on the screen. So let's delete that. And I'm going to use a simple rectangle to do the de-highlighting for me. So once again, from the drawing tool, I'm going to select rectangle. And I'm going to draw a rectangle here again. And as before, it appears as a brown, uh, full um, rectangle. Now if I right-click on the rectangle, I've got down at the end of the pop-up menu a format shape option. So if I select that, uh, I get the format shape window that you can see here on the left hand side. Now by default it shows a solid fill here and the colour is brown as you can see on the right hand side uh, but underneath this we've got a transparency option with a slider tool and also an option to um, type in numbers here. So the default transparency is zero transparency, in other words it's a solid filled box. But So if I change that to say 50%, you can see uh, hopefully in the video okay there that the solid box has now changed to a transparent box, a value of 50% in this case. If I change the value to 80%, you can see that a lot more of the background of the slide is showing through um, the box that I have just drawn. Now what we want to do is do the opposite of that. We want to de-highlight the background. So I'm going to change this to 20% and hopefully you can see okay there that the uh, text is partially shining through the back of the, t of the um, rectangle or box that I have drawn here. So let's close the format shape window. And what I'm going to do here is in order to de-highlight the entire slide is I'm going to cover the slide with the box. I expand it down to the bottom right hand corner here and you can see even in edit mode that the background of my slide has been de-highlighted. Now in order for this not to cover straight away when I do the slideshow I need to add in an animation here so I'm going to slick, select animation I just want it to appear so I'm going to select the appear option and over on the right hand side in the timing tool you can see that by default it's selected as on click so that when I run this uh, slide now I get my uh, normal information that you see here and when I press a key or click to go to the next slide you can see that my slide has been de-highlighted. I now want to put a new box over that with my um, tip in it. So I'm going to draw a new box on top of that. So uh, let me put that here. I'm going to change the color and in my case here I'm going to just change the color to white. I'm going to format the shape here choose uh, in my theme colors here white as a color in my dialog box or my rectangle click close here move the rectangle to the position that I want it to be on my screen and if I right click again I can now choose edit text as before and in my case here I'm going to paste in my uh, tip text from my clipboard that I prepared earlier change the font size just so it's easier for you to read okay and um, this is now going to want to change this to an animation as well. I'm going to make it appear, just to be quite simple. And this time uh, I'm going to show it um, as coming up with the brown box behind. So I want to click uh, in the timing window after previous. So that now when I run the screen, 
my slide shows up with my um, how to do a pre analysis slide with all the points on it here with my diagram when I press a key um, the background is de-highlighted with my brown box and my tip now has got more emphasis and the students or your, your audience's attention is drawn to the tip that you placed they're not distracted by anything that's in behind you can go back into edit mode and change the colors, change the font size and even change the level of transparency uh, in the brown box in my case in here behind depending on um, how much you want to de-emphasize or de-highlight the background I hope you have found this um, how-to video useful. Thank you for your attention.